What is up YouTube? My name is James and bringing us a brand new video here today. And so today I'm going to do a tutorial on some urban street photo edits. In this tutorial, pretty much, I'm going to be showing you guys two different styles of editing for urban slash street photography, all that stuff like that. The first shot we're going to be editing here in today's video is going to be this one right here. It's of this uh, little railing in Times Square. It's just like a really, really cool little detail. The depth of field is super nice. It's nighttime. The lights look super, super dope. And the bokeh is really, really nice, just like all around like on the right side of the image. And the raindrops, all the detail just looks so, so cool. And I think it's awesome. I'm going to show you guys how to edit that. You really desaturate the cool tones a little bit. Get that really, really typical urban style with like the gray, a lot of the gray tones everywhere. The blacks, the grays, the dark colors. I think it's a really, really good representation of general urban photography and city photography. The next image we're going to be editing is right here. And that's going to be one that's less typically an urban style photo. This is taken during golden hour. So the sun's really, really shining through on the city. It's really beautiful glow. All the light looks super, super nice. Really, really yellow tones. Um, the dark, the uh, cool tones are still a little bit desaturated, so it got that little bit of urban-esque into it. Uh, but overall, it just looks beautiful. The architecture looks beautiful. And really going to show you how to get that clean, clean look with that slight fade, that contrast, all that stuff like that. Anyway, before I get into this video, I just want to make a quick little announcement. For this video, I created a preset pack to go with the edits that I'm doing right here in this tutorial. I have uh, five presets in the pack. It's called the Street Pack. It's ten dollars on my self I page. Link is in the description below. I also have two other preset packs in there if you guys are interested. But the preset pack contains really, really awesome presets that can be used for a wide variety of images. Super, super dope edits. Anyway, let's get straight. Okay, guys. So here we are in Lightroom. And before I get started with this, I want to let you guys know that you guys can go in the description right now and download these two raw files on Dropbox so you guys can follow along in real time and pretty much see how each setting affects the photo when you push which slider up and affects it how all that stuff like that and I think it really really help you guys in understanding how exactly to edit these kinds of photos so without further ado let's get straight into this picture this one's the one in Times Square we got these uh, little raindrops here in focus the taxi these nice little lights up here the little bokeh up there these uh, nice reflections in the street uh, let's get straight into it. So first thing I want to do is I first want to up the contrast a bit. It's around like 35 around there. Um, doesn't need to be perfect. Um, I like to edit all these uh, all these settings first, and then I go into temperature and all that stuff later, and and exposure later. Um, so highlights off the bat. We're definitely not going to go low. Low looks terrible. We're going to go definitely go more high, like uh, around 63. That looks good. We're going to up the shadows a bunch to around like plus 60. Get that detail up here, in the street over here, up here. Besides the sky, nothing should be absolutely black. Next thing is the whites. We're going to uh, mess with the whites a little bit. We can uh, de either decrease or increase. Either one can look good. Um, I'm going to stick with the decrease for now and see what happens later. Because I, I, I want to I keep it a little darker and see what we can do, if we can do anything nice with this detail over here, these colors in the street. Um, Next thing to blacks, so we're going to increase that as well and get more detail. Um, clarity, I don't usually have the clarity right away, but I know what I want to do. I want to uh, make it a little more sharper, make it a little more clarity. And like around 15 or so, nothing crazy. Um, vibrance, I want to add some vibrance a little bit, like plus 20 or so. Nothing crazy, again, just a little bit of vibrance. And make the colors pop a little more. Next thing is a tone curve. This is the most important part of the photo, in my opinion. This is what makes or breaks it. Um, so right here, we're going to just do that right there, and then increase it just like that. And with this little tone curve right here, these three points align just like this, gets this look right here, and I think it's very, very nice. I think it's very, very nice, 100%. Next thing we're going to do is go straight into the HSL and uh, start with the hues, saturations, and luminances. First thing I'm going to do is make my yellows a little more orange. Just like that. Um, you could do this. You could do that. I like to keep my blues centered. Some things. Some people like to really make it your blues a little more aqua. I don't like to do that. I like to keep it more blue and keep it the way it is. Um, saturations wise, we're gonna actually lower our our cool colors just by a little bit, around by minus forty or so, and see what we just did right there. That just really, really made the whole picture a lot more warm tone oriented and just really desaturated, making added some more grays and blacks into our picture. If we decrease them all the way, 
this is what would happen like that that's actually a little too much i think i'm gonna go minus 60 i think that looks gonna look really really good like that i think that looks awesome just like that I think it looks really good next thing we're gonna do is go to the luminances we're gonna increase the approach we're increasing the value of each color the brightness of each color individually and i think it looks really good in most photos just like that and we can increase the blues more as well like that i think that looks really really good um all the way looks really good the aquas can look really really good as well um the yellows as well all the way oranges honestly like right there reds can look good like right there purples we don't got too many purples in there and magentas not too many either so it's gonna chill next thing is split toning split toning is super important as well when you want to get a certain style and look to your photo there are many ways you can go at split toning but the way i'm gonna go right now is i'm gonna go going uh red highlights just like this like yellow orange just right here 21 percent and then for a hue we're gonna add a blue hue just like that and if you want to you can even add a red one that looks awesome too like that looks great too you can even make the, the um highlights blue like this and make your red pop out a lot more like this personally though i'm fucking with oh, excuse my language i'm liking the blue hue with the reddish orange uh uh, highlights 13 11 saturations both very good um, as always you should be doing this before the photo but enable profile corrections and enable chromatic aberration remove chromatic aberration uh, it makes the picture a lot better and uh, makes it look more real um, also removing um, vignetting on the edges of the photo the corners of the photo next thing we're going to do is add a little bit more dehaze like that it's going to add a little more contrast get rid of the haze in the photo a little bit that may show up um, and then as for vignetting, I'm going to add some vignetting just like this. Actually, I'm going to do that last. We're going we're gonna to do that last. Okay. Um, but as for that, that's the, all the basic settings of the photo. Now I can go into our temperature real quick and mess with stuff. Um, you can make it a little more yellow. Just like that. You can make it more blue. If you want some more like grays and desaturations. Um, I think I'm going to keep it in a mix of yellows and then add a little bit of purple to it. Mm, it can okay the way that this would work is if i kept my blues and all that uh, all my cool colors at a regular saturation and then i up the saturation a little bit of the whole photo you can really get some really colorful colors here really really saturated and beautiful colors is what i'm trying to say in the railing in the in the street like this with some brushes you can really really get some beautiful color but i'm gonna keep it the way it was because personally i think that's how it looks best just the way it was um maybe just a little bit of uh more purple yeah that's slight color and honestly if you wanted to as well you could even take a brush right here and really up that saturation and yellow tones in the railing like that now now like look how nice that looks right there a little less a little less saturation a little more contrast a little more highlight maybe and that looks a lot better if we take off that brush wow that look that makes such a big difference do over here as well on all this i'm gonna make i'm gonna actually get rid of it right here because i don't want it right there but wow look at the difference that makes let's see what happens with the street and we do with the street yeah, that looks that looks so cool, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go that crazy with it because it looks a little bit too much. But actually, what I want to do real quick right here is go to our street here and make this a little bit better. I want to just up the uh, exposure a little bit, add a little more contrast, maybe some more whites, and uh, a little bit more maybe of a honestly just like that. I think I think that's fine. Um, a little less saturation maybe actually. A little right there and then do the same thing over here as well actually that's too much that's too much uh, brightness over there maybe we'll take this right here and we'll just uh decrease the exposure nah doesn't look good i don't like it i think uh i think we're good the way it is but anyway i think that's the rest of the photo we're just gonna go to our vignetting right now and just uh decrease a little bit just like that and bam we are done oh sorry that's the original oh shit the original looks pretty good um but i, th I think both actually look really good this is the original edit that I made on the photo, but I think both of these look very, very good. I think both of these 
are really solid edits. And if we actually just reset it completely, that's the original. And that's our edit. And I think that was, this was very, very successful. All right, so the next picture, right here. This is of the Delmonico's building. It's a restaurant in New York City in the financial district. Um, it was golden hour. The sunlight's really coming through over here. And it looks, looks really awesome. A nice little taxi coming in here, person walking. The worst part about this photo, the one that makes me so mad, is the scaffolding on the building right here. I actually gotta, I'm actually i going to go there soon again and uh, check it out, see the scaffolding still there. Awful scaffolding over here, too. This mail truck, really annoying. But nonetheless, I think it's still an awesome photo and really shows the busyness and, like, like the like the constant um, change that the city is going through and it's also very very beautiful edit as well so let's go straight into this add some contrast off the bat we're gonna add some highlight just like that um, up the shadows get all the detail in the building in the dark spots up the whites as well we're gonna up the blacks as well really get all that detail out um, already you can be like that's so much of a difference from that to that um, really really nice uh, up the clarity a little bit too, maybe, or, or you can soften it. Honestly, I think softening it will look better for this because it will give the sun a more uh, soft glow to it. Check the time; it's six eighteen. Set the time real quick. I actually gotta head to the studio in about ten minutes, so I gotta finish up this video. I gotta uh, finish working on my final project for school. Um, but anyway, enough of that. Um, first point right there. We're gonna get our second point right here, and our third point right there. Maybe asking me, James, how come if we go like this? And we look at the original right here. If it wants to load for me, right here, it looks so much different than this. And we already did all this work. Well, the reason is because we get to physically add the yellow here. We're gonna literally brush that in. We're gonna really, really add that in. First thing first, before we go to the colors, I'm actually gonna edit the temperature a little bit, make it a little more yellow, around 6,060. That looks good. Now we're gonna make our yellows a little more orange. We're going to make our saturations for our warm tones a little bit more warmer. Get more of those yellow, orange tones seem more saturated, as you can see right there. And we're going to lower our, our cool tones a little bit by like negative 30. Really, really get rid of those cool tones to emphasize those warm tones. Now we're going to up the luminances, the brightness for each of the colors around plus 26. And already now you can see that now you can see that little bit brighter on the side over here. Really, 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 really looking nice so far. We're going to keep that around right there, the reds right here, and then right there as well. Next is the split toning. I think this really, really is going to help the photo become the best it can be. This photo right here, um, it can go a lot of ways. Um, you can add some red and yellow um, highlights, You can, and then add some more blue shadows like we did for the last photo. That looks pretty good. You can even add some green shadows if you want, which is, I believe, what I originally did. I think that looks the best with this photo. Just like slightly like, uh, those yellowish green tones. You can even add red as well. Red would look good as well, but I don't know. It's a little bit too too much red and too much, it just looks a little bit icky in my opinion. I think like a six percent right there. I think you could even if you wanted to make the make the highlights blue, but that's gonna take away from the uh, the redness and the the goldenness, the golden glow of the um, of the sun right there, the reflection of the sun. I think right here the reds are gonna look perfect. And uh, now we're gonna go right down to our Enable profile corrections as well as chromatic aberration. I forgot to do that before. Um, just see real quick. There we go. That's the difference. Um, next thing you're going to do is add a little bit of dehazing, like a 10% dehazing, or sorry, plus 10 dehazing, not 10%. And now what we're going to do is we're going to really, really physically add those yellow tones in there. We're going to take a brush, just go crazy with this right here, make it a little smaller now, make sure we get everything. just like that and now we're gonna add those uh, those uh, that glow in ourselves get a little bit get rid of like that right there add a little more saturation I don't even think we need to I think we actually leave the, the, the tint alone completely let's make this zero and we can keep the yellows at a minimum and we get up the saturation just like that and up the whites a little bit too and we really really get that glow now see that glow that we just did I think that looks really really awesome and we lower the saturation lower the exposure just a little bit and lower the shadows just a little bit too or just not just a little bit um, 
I think that looks awesome. I think it looks very, 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 very good. Um, um, what I want to do actually is um, maybe even add a graduated filter coming in from this way. Um, we can even add up the exposure just a little bit um, and add a little bit more yellow, maybe a little bit more yellow, a little bit like that, maybe like a two magenta or two uh, magenta tint, um, just like that. And bam, look at that. It looks amazing now. We got that the beautiful, beautiful glow. Um, these super nice tones over here. I actually want to make it a little bit darker on this side. So coming from this side, we can add a graduated filter right here, um, and then lower the exposure and make it a little more warmer as well. And uh, and then also up uh, up the whites a little bit. Um, maybe increase the clarity just a little bit um, and decrease the shadows more. And we're going to make this come out a little bit farther out, just like, like right there, I think. I think that looks really good. Take a brush now and go back to original brush. And I want to get I want to get the street right here, because I didn't get that before. Just the street right here. Make sure they can get some of that glow as well. Cool. And now I think we're done. I think we're done with this photo. We're going to go back to our bottom right here and add a little bit of vignetting. Just like that. Make it a little more moodier. A little more... Uh, yeah, moodier, honestly. Uh, and we're done. Let's go back to the library real quick. Actually, stay in develop module. Uh, and just look at the before and after of the original edit versus this edit. So this is the original edit. So you, yeah, we had more blue tones in this one. I think the green looked a little bit better. Um, this is how it would look if we add the blue onto this photo, onto this edit in particular, because they are different edits. They are slightly different. This is how it would look with the blue tones, honestly. You can you can't go wrong either way. This is literally the difference between the two. Oh, sorry. Um, literally the difference. This is a little bright over here. That could be a personal decision. You can keep that brighter. You can make it darker. But literally, such a little difference between the two. I have more magentas in this one over here, and a little more greenish yellowing over here. Um, literally, really really similar edits. And I think they both look great. Um, I believe this is this is the original one I just did, and now if we reset it and look at the original, bam! From this to that, like that's wild, that's insane. Like from this right here, I did that from this. Like this is so plain, it's so boring, bland, and just all those cool, boring tones. And these, like, it just doesn't look good. And then I just I literally turned it around and made it into something that you can really, really just be like, wow, that's amazing. And this is my opinion. Everyone has a different opinion. I, I personally love this photo. It's one of my favorites. Before we end this video, I want to show you guys real quick the presets that uh, kind of go with these kinds of edits. And uh, as of right and right here, you can see uh, these are all the pictures that were used to curate the pre the curate the presets um, as well. We're gonna actually reset these real quick because these are the ones we just actually edited. These are the ones we edited just now. We're gonna just uh, reset those real quick and to show you guys really like uh, how these presets really work and uh, how awesome they are. This is the first one, second one, third one, fourth one, and fifth one. I think they all work super, super well. I think they're awesome. I love them so much. I think they work, they're actually very, very diverse. They work for a very, very wide array of urban photos. So I definitely recommend go buying it. I think they're really awesome. I'm actually really, really proud of this preset pack. I think it's the best one yet. They're $10, look in the description below, Selfie. Uh, com slash James Giovetta. Also, be for sure to follow me on Instagram. And if you do end up buying these uh, presets, um, please let, didn't hit me with a DM. I'd love to personally thank you. That's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And lastly, guys, my name is James. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.